Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my sisters and I'm gonna show you how to achieve this look very glamorous for party um, with loads of glitters on the eyes. For priming the eyes I'm gonna use a paint pot by MAC in the color Soft Oka and I'm gonna apply all over the eyes and also a bit underneath. This paint pot is very good for uh, priming the eyes because it's got a yellowy base and it's really good for covering all the redness on the eyes and to make the shadow appear brighter. And now we start with the shadow, I'm gonna apply a matte eyeshadow by MAC in the color orange and I'm gonna apply in the crease of the eye with the 217 brush by MAC which is one of my favorite brush to um, apply shadow in the crease because it's very soft and it can blend the shadow perfectly. After applying the shadow with the 217 I'm using a very soft brush to blend everything together and it's from Makeup Forever, it's a rounded shape brush for blending. I keep uh, building the color um, always with the 217 uh, for several times until I reach the perfect uh, color I want. I have to say that lately I've been using the color orange a lot in the crease of the eyes um, because sometimes when we think about it we always say um, this is such a weird color what I'm gonna use it for while if you try to use it it's very good for um, having a natural effect in the crease and blending loads of color with it so after I build my crease I'm gonna apply a shimmery shadow always from MAC this is in the color copper ring and I'm gonna press it into the eyelids I am now gonna take this other uh, eyeshadow from MAC in the color Swiss Chocolate which is a really nice warm brown also one of my favorite to always use in the crease and I'm gonna apply in the outside corner um, and I'm gonna blend it inwards to give some depth to the shadow we are building under the brows I'm gonna use the color brulee always by MAC which is a matte eyeshadow, very useful for when you are doing very natural looks. And I'm using the Makeup Forever brush to blend. And I keep uh, making the outside parts more intense, always with this Swiss chocolate uh, shadow. I'm now gonna curl my lashes with my Shuemura curler. And now I'm gonna apply some glitters with the um, glue, duo glue, and I'm gonna help myself with the um, tissue underneath the eyes so we're not gonna have to clean the face forever from the fallout of the glitters and this is a very nice uh, trick to use when you apply glitters I'm now gonna stick the glitters with a flat brush I'm really gonna press them against the eyelid and uh, these are glitters from the uh, Christmas collection from MAC Heirloom Mix in the color coppering
I'm now using a mascara wand to get rid of the glitters I have on the eyelashes. I'm gonna make the outside part of the crease more intense with a very dark brown which is Espresso from MAC and I'm also gonna blend it with the 217. Now with the wet wipe I'm gonna clean the face from the glitters but as you can see we don't have a massive um, cleaning to do because we use the tissue but also I always recommend to start from the eyes rather than the foundation when you have a really bright um, eye look to recreate when you use glitters or very dark and pigmented colors so when we finish to clean the face I'm gonna um, use a cold pencil to make the eyes more intense this is Filan from MAC you can use any uh, black cold pencil uh, and I'm gonna apply it very near to the eyelashes on the eyelid and we're gonna blend it with a bullet brush uh, also we're gonna apply the pencil underneath and in the waterline as well After applying the pencil, we're gonna blend it underneath as well. set the pencil underneath and also to soften it a bit I'm gonna use the same eyeshadow we used in the crease so it's orange from MAC with the 217 and blend everything together we're now gonna apply some mascara I'm using manga lashes from L'Oreal on the top and bottom lashes We are now going to stick some lashes, these are Red Cherry in the number 43. Now move into the base and I'm gonna use my favorite foundation uh, which is Face and Body by MAC in the number N1 and if you follow me you know this is my favorite foundation because I always talk about it uh, it's made by 70% by water so it gives this really fresh glowy baby skin look and it's buildable so if you want more coverage you can keep layering on and it's very long lasting once it sets into the skin it doesn't move so it's really good if you want to go party it's um, um, sweat proof uh, and you don't have to worry about it gliding it off as a concealer I'm gonna use the studio finish from MAC in the number NW25 which is a really warm um, color as the NW has got this orange undertone which NC numbers don't have 
um, so I'm gonna apply with the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and make sure you hydrate your uh, under eyes area before applying this concealer because it's quite dry so you need a very good hydration before. As a powder, I'm gonna use a mineralized skin finish from MAC in the number medium, which is super natural and super light. Now we're gonna do some contouring and I'm using this slick palette in the color medium. Um, I'm gonna apply with a soft angled brush the product on the top part of the cheeks underneath the jawline and we're gonna blend it with the rest of the skin and we're gonna concentrate the color especially um, near to the eye, uh, ears and then blending it imagine a line that goes um, near to the lips. We're also gonna contour a bit the nose and now I'm gonna use this blush always from a slick palette which is a really nice orange color to um, match with the eyes and I'm gonna apply it on the top of the cheeks blending it upwards to lift the face. We're now moving to the lips. After applying a balm and primer I'm gonna use the pencil by MAC in the color Boldly Bare with the lipstick on the top which is kinda sexy which is a matte lipstick always from MAC which is very used by Kim Kardashian in loads of her looks and it's one of my favorite because it's a nude color but it's got this peachy undertone which is never gonna erase completely your lips and this is what I like about it when you do super intense look on the eyes I'm always gonna use a nude lipstick but I always prefer something with a bit of color uh, I'm now gonna move on to the brows and I'm using um, a retractable pencil by MAC in the color brunette so I'm just gonna fill in the gaps uh, here and there and I'm gonna intensify the outside parts but my sister has got quite um, good eyebrows so I don't have a lot of job to do After finishing designing these little strokes on the brows, we're gonna blend everything with a clean mascara wand. I'm now gonna apply some gold glitters in the inner um, corners of the eyes, just to give some light. So this was my sister before when we started. And that's my sister after with the finished look. I hope you like it and if you do as always please give me a thumbs up, share the video on your social media and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you to the next one. Bye bye!